So Christmas is here and uh, New Year's is just a few days away. So I thought I would kind of do a quick uh, sort of a wrap up, uh, you know, summary of kind of the exciting and newsworthy things uh, that happened this year. So first thing we'll talk about is uh, different films. Uh, I recently actually I watched a film called Roma from uh, Alfonso Cuaron. And uh, it, I, to be honest, I knew nothing about the film. I, I know the, you know, it was afterwards I found out that it was in Toronto New Film Festival and things like that. But I knew nothing about it. Literally, was just you know had a f free evening one day, turned on Netflix, and it just popped up on the screen. So I thought I would give it a try. And it's a, uh, I, I would almost describe it kind of like this typical, or sort of a typical. It looks like right away, like like that. That was the feeling that I got. It was sort of a typical artsy film, black and white. And you know, kind of talking about this, you know, this family and and stuff like that. And, and if you know me, you know that I, I'm not really a fan of artsy films. Uh, I like kind of more mainstream kind of cinema, you know, kind of action comedies, that kind of stuff. But anyways, I started watching it and I could not stop. I, I could not actually turn it off. So it was something about the film, even though it seems so, I could say, kind of artsy and all that stuff out there, but. At the same time, it wasn't. It, it it was a very very well done film. And mind you, again, I watched it before I knew who the director was. Which, by the way, if you don't know who that is, it's the same director who did Gravity or Children of Men, for example. Which that movie I, I really did like, um, and Gravity too, actually. Uh, so you know, afterwards, having found out, I was like, oh, okay, it was an interesting uh, choice. And then again, I dwelled into more into the the film, and and I found out afterwards again that it's a true story that the actual one of these side characters in there is the actual director of the film when he was a, a kid and he wrote directed and he shot the film himself too uh on the on large format uh, cameras um and it, the cinematography i'll tell you right away even though it's black and white uh it looks beautiful there's something again it's it, it's a story literally about uh you know without giving away any endings and stuff it's literally just a story about a maid uh, working for this, you know, middle upper class kind of family in the 1970s Mexico. Uh, it's called Roma because that's the neighborhood in Mexico City where they live, uh, and that's li literally all the movie is about. It's about her, not even like her whole life, just like a little period of her life. Um, and uh, and so again, it's not, you know, I'll tell you, that not much happens in the film. It's kind of slow. The editing was definitely very slow. Um, the pacing is slow. The, there's almost no music, I think, or maybe completely no music, as far as I recall. It's a very quiet film, but yet it is. It kind of like you know pulls at your your kind of emotional kind of uh, you know you know heartstring kind of like like makes you. You know, there were moments where I was tearing up, uh, and, and moments where I kind of felt a little outrage and stuff like that. Even though again, it's it never tries to build up any kind of a cinematic moment it doesn't have these you know like i said you know music for example that tells you what to feel or sound effects or some crazy editing of you know to kind of show you okay it's intense action or things like that even though there are there is some violence um there is like i said humor in the film there's everything but it kind of seems almost like like you're just kind of like a postcard of like that neighborhood in mexico city in those days uh and you're just kind of watching there it's like a you know like a moving postcard and you're just there watching it and it really i think a, a film worth seeing so if you guys are looking for something to watch uh, over the holidays again roma uh check it out on netflix right now uh, another thing i think worthy uh, talking about is um uh, the marvelous miss Maisel. if you've watched season one you're probably waiting for season two or oh, it's uh, it came out recently again uh and again i was it, 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 I'll tell you again right away. It's season one of Marvelous Miss Maisel. I was not like, like when I just read this, you know, synopsis and kind of what the show is about. I didn't think much of it. I wasn't like I, I didn't think that was the kind of a, a show that I would be interested in watching. But I started watching it with my wife, and I just I just liked it. So got into it, ended up kind of binging on all the episodes and then we're waiting desperately. We're like, oh, when's season two coming? So it did come out this year uh, and it's, I'm still haven't finished it actually, just been too busy with work, but I started watching the, the first few episodes and it does not disappoint. It's, it's uh, like I said, aside from, even if you don't like the story, production design, cinematography is, is really good in that film, editing, like all that stuff. It's, it's really well, just a well-produced show. Uh, that one's on uh, Amazon, Amazon Prime. Uh, you can, you, if you have it, you, you can watch it. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, and I think it's just, it's a good entertaining show. So if you're looking again for something maybe 
long format, like a, like a series, uh, Marvelous Miss Maisel. Uh, what about cameras? Well, if you've been following me, you know, it's probably, uh, I would say, the best camera of this year. It's the Blackmagic Packet Cinema Camera, at least from the budget cameras. Uh, the, the, the 4K, the Blackmagic Packet Cinema 4K Camera. <laughs> uh, I know, long name and all that stuff, but great, great camera. Um, just, you know, again, if you guys want to find out all the details, watch my review. But uh, if... I think out of all the cameras that came out this year, and there was actually quite a bit of announcements in the Micro Four Thirds, uh, well, actually the mirrorless kind of a lineup of cameras, all these different manufacturers had them, but and out of all the cameras that I've tried, uh, I, this one is the one that, that really kind of stuck with me. So uh, that's the one I bought and bought all these accessories and all that, all that stuff. So again, you guys can check out the videos about it and why I think it's worth mentioning. Another camera that I haven't had a chance to use yet, but I'm really excited, is the Airy uh, LF, the large format, which again, the film Roma, I believe that was shot on that camera. Software, software this year, I think there's uh, there's two really that, that stand out. One is actually comes with this camera if you buy it. Uh, DaVinci Resolve, uh, again, if you guys have been following me, you know that I switched this year to, to editing in DaVinci Resolve. I always used Resolve for color grading, or at least for like, you know, many, many years before. But I used to do all my editing in Premiere, but I just got too frustrated with the whole subscription model and other things. So I ended up switching uh, this year to DaVinci Resolve. Haven't looked back, love the editing software, haven't had any problems, uh, anything like that. So, um, you know, it's a great editing software and then right in it I can do now color grading, you can even do effects, and the sound mixing is actually pretty good. It's all right in one package. So um, if you buy this camera, you get the, the DaVinci Resolve for free, or uh, you can buy it. It's $2.99, I believe. Uh, another little known piece of uh, AI magic software is uh, remove.bg. I think that's the website. Anyways, I'll provide the link below. But basically, it's a website uh, that you go to and you just upload a, a photo. Right now, it only works with photos, but they might have an update for videos. Uh, and it basically, the amazing thing about it is, like the name says, it removes your background. So uh, you, let's say you shot, you know, you get this footage of me here. Uh, you upload it in there. You do not have to have your footage shot on a green screen or blue screen. But let's say you want to remove the background and just keep the, the actor or the, your person in the shot uh, so that you can, again, swap the background. Uh, again, that thing just lets you do it for free. You just go in there, upload your photo. Uh, so if you're working, let's say, with photography, and, it, and you'd be amazed. It works amazingly well. We'll actually take a little details around hair and things like that. You just upload a photo, and boom, you get the photo back with the background removed, and you can, you know, again, do continue your photoshopping. Now, if you know anything about technology, then you know how quickly things can change, and something that right now kind of seems almost like a gimmick, uh, it's most likely going to be implemented maybe in DaVinci Resolve or Premiere or something like that so that in the future literally we'll be able to remove the background or, or, or the foreground or any element in our shots and just replace it with something else all using uh, artificial intelligence. So that's pretty exciting. When it comes to lenses, there's actually been quite a, quite a lot of new lenses and a whole new lineup from Canon and, and other manufacturers. But uh, um, if you like, you know, classic like this Sigma 18 to 35 art lens, there's actually a whole new bunch of uh, Sigma art lenses uh, that have been released, uh, including full frame art prime lenses, specifically the 28 millimeter and uh, 40 millimeter f 1.4. Uh, those are obviously going to be available in different mounts like Canon EF, uh, Nikon, uh, and Sony E mount. Uh, another actually really cool lens from uh, Sigma is the 60 to 600 millimeter uh, zoom lens. Uh, again, it was announced recently. Uh, now I haven't had a chance to use that uh, lens, but you know, if I do, I'll, I'll probably throw up a little review for you guys. Uh, in terms of drones, uh, there was a you know DJ Mavic uh, Pro 2. Uh, or the zoom, uh, the drones, which are great. I mean, they're great drones, but I don't know if those that much big of a upgrade from the previous version. Uh, I personally am still sticking with my previous version, so I haven't upgraded. Uh, in terms of uh, gimbals, the DJI Ronin S, great gimbal. My favorite, though, and you know, there's some advantages and disadvantages to each of the gimbal is the Moza uh, Air uh, 2. And the reason is because I just find that more things work right out of the box. Plus, you get more things, and it's you know cheaper uh, than the DJ Ronin, uh, and 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 it actually has a higher weight capacity. So that's my gimbal kind of that I'm sticking with right now. I had done a little initial review of the pre-release of that gimbal that I got, which had actually quite a few problems. Since then, I got the actual final released gimbal, uh, and uh, and so I'm gonna 
you know do a review for you guys hopefully as soon as i can uh, i was gonna finish it actually this year but uh, broke my toe recently and i just wasn't able to do you know some running shots and things like that so as soon as i'm back and able to run uh, i'll get that review done for you guys now another little i guess also you can call it a camera like an action camera slash gimbal is the dji osmo packet uh, i haven't used it but i'm i'm actually probably gonna get one now that's not something i would recommend for professional work obviously um it's more for home videos and kind of like let's see if you're traveling and you need something small handy but you still want to be able to get smooth shots uh, it seems like a great accessory for that uh, there's also a new backpack that i got this year uh, and it's uh this one's called expedition i think um and what's cool about this one is i mean it's a backpack right uh, but it kind of has these cool like just the little things in the design that allows you to uh you know like for example here using magnets quickly clip it but then it does not unlock unless you know how to do it so it unlocks so somebody can't like easily break into your bag or like let's say you know let's say you're on a train or something uh, and another cool thing about this backpack is it's modular so you can convert it easily from a camera bag to a traveling to a hiking bag to a business bag whatever because it has these little compartments and there's different sizes and different you know meshes designed for different things that you get this, with this backpack and it has these little latches here so that you can uh, quickly then lock it in there uh, and you can qu quickly kind of reconfigure this backpack uh, same thing here on the front again you can remove this as you can see uh, put it back in but if somebody doesn't know how to do it then if they want to rip this then they will not be able to rip it it's actually it's attached there pretty strong so a uh, cool little modular backpack if you're looking for one now the last thing maybe i'll talk about in terms of gear is uh headphones uh if you've been following me again you'll probably know my favorites are the audio technica uh, ath uh, m50x headphones uh, and they're still great headphones but you know they're actually on sale right now but if you want to get the newest version that came out recently then uh, they have the new bt basically is the the they added at the end of the name just stands for bluetooth so bluetooth version of these headphones uh sounds the same literally identical headphones they just added a bluetooth uh, wireless uh you know function to it um so yeah if you're looking for good headphones for whether it's just for listening to music or mixing sound or anything like that or recording sound uh f these ones i can highly recommend now of course you know it's uh, holidays and i think the most important thing really is like spend time you know with people that you care about your family or friends or whoever it is uh so it, i really don't think you guys should be thinking and especially now you know we're kind of done with the uh, christmas shopping and all that stuff uh, just because you know whether it's me or other people show you gear and th things like that don't go and don't run out there and just start buying stuff because oh you know it's the latest thing uh, like i said even like when it comes to the drones right i don't just buy the latest thing that comes out i usually kind of wait a little bit or if i can i'll just get my hands on it like borrow it or you know from a friend or whoever it is that i can get it from or rent it out i use the latest piece of gear and then i see is there a big advantage and um, like i said sometimes i'll just end up like with the drones the, all these new drones came out and i just end up actually buying the previous version because they were on sale now so that's also a great thing uh, and then like i said at the end of the day if you already have gear uh, that, that uh you know that you're using and it works for you probably just stick with that uh doesn't mean that you have to upgrade uh unless you really have a wallet that's just like you know exploding it's got too much cash in there then uh, uh if you want to throw some my way you know make me rich uh or follow the links that i provide in their affiliate links you know i'm gonna get filthy rich off of those so uh that's a little little tip for you guys but anyways other than that i would just say spend time with you know people that you care about have a good time guys i don't think i'll be posting any more videos this year so I guess I'll see you in 2019, uh, I think. Is it 2019? Yeah, it is. I was, I was about to say 2020, but I'm still not there yet. So 2019, I'll see you guys. And uh, until then, just keep it cool. Have a good time. Uh, and, uh, you know, don't spend too much money, I guess. <laughs> All right, bye.